Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Buried movie thoughts. I personally thought that the snake was a bit... It felt like they were just running out of ideas at that point. Like they just needed something to, you know, put him in danger for some more minutes so it could keep going. And it didn't really seem necessary. The... I, you know, and don't get me wrong, I get where it came from, you know, there was that hole that it apparently came in through, and... Hey, I don't know everything there is to know about snakes, in fact, I know very little. Maybe it wouldn't have attacked him, you know, because it didn't actually seem to at any point, you know, it crawled up his... Like, maybe that's what they mean by trouser snake. Yeah. The whole thing with his colleague... Maybe I'm dim, but the first time I saw a woman and saw Ryan Reynolds' reaction, I thought that was the wife. Then later, we find out that it's definitely not the wife because the name is all wrong, so she's a colleague. And then later still, we find out that apparently they had a relationship which he fervently denies. Which, you know, means that we don't actually really know if they had a relationship or not because he does seem to really care about the wife, so... I don't know. It, did, it didn't really seem necessary. I would say maybe it was there so that they could have the whole thing with, you know, the... Director of Personnel, or whatever his title was, take away, you know, fire him as of that morning so that he wouldn't be, you know covered, you know, the takeaways insurance and all that, that really felt like just, you know, more of this commentary, more of the anti-current America commentary. I'm not the biggest fan of America's current policies, but it did seem a bit heavy, heavy-handed maybe, you know, it, it just constantly, every single thing that, you know, I mean, it wasn't exactly on the terrorist side, but it did say, you know, feel sympathy for, you know, this guy who buried you, which, again, I'm, you know, he lost four children, and, you know, he was attacked, even though he didn't have anything to do with 9-11. I get it. I'm just saying... <sighs> If there was one thing to take away from this movie, other than, you know, don't get yourself buried in Iraq, it was, you know, just what America does today is wrong, plain and simple. And I just think that's a bit one-sided, and I don't really think it was completely necessary to make the movie work, either. It could have you know, been a perfectly good thriller without... I, I felt like it detracted from the movie. It just... Yeah. It, it didn't f feel organic to it. The... I know this is, you know, just minor detail, but I did think it was a little annoying that we never actually really found out who I think Donna was her name, who she was, I guess just like a friend of his wife's, maybe, or something, I don't know. Yeah. The climax, the whole ending with the sand, I thought that worked really, really well. It was very chilling and... You know, while they may be... I'm not the biggest fan of the whole he, you know, he hallucinates that he's, or he, he imagines himself getting rescued. At least the movie, movie only did it once, you know. It's really obnoxious when a movie does that several times. But, you know, and the very 
closure of it was pretty good. I guess that also means that Mark White was indeed not, you know, someone they had actually managed to rescue, I guess. You know, it was someone that... And since we don't hear... I don't know, maybe Mark was actually dead and, you know, he just thought of a name and claimed, well, we actually did save this guy, and they didn't. Or maybe Mark went back, I don't know. I think the movie did leave a few things a little too open to interpretation. I kept expecting there to be some twists that there really weren't. I think that there, there were some sort of hints that... I don't know why they were there. Getting into that in a few... But yeah, so, you know, they got to the wrong coffin, which I guess might mean that his family will also die, you know, because the terrorists, as or the insurgents, whatever, now, you know, they've proven they have the address. The reveal on that, I get that it, you know, they needed something big for near the ending, but it would seem like they would have detail that a bit earlier. You know, they would have said, not only have we buried you, but we have your family as well, or we can have them, you know, so make with the money. The... Or, hey, maybe they won't get, you know, because he did manage to call and leave a message on their home answering machine, I guess. Anyway, Stuff like the, you know, he calls the police, he calls, you know, 911, and he's told, you know, well, this is in Ohio, you reached this particular one. I thought that that maybe meant that he wasn't actually in Iraq. And, you know, there's the whole thing of, I don't know, maybe I was reading too much into the Iraqi insisting that he must be a soldier because he's American and a liar. I kind of thought that he would maybe turn out to be a spy or something, and maybe he was captured by someone who thought that he... who didn't realize that he was a spy or something. I don't know. Yeah, I probably was reading into too much into it. I suppose that's more or less it. I wasn't entirely clear on whether there was some meaning to him taking... He seemed to down a lot of pills. He didn't seem to really suffer any ill effects from that, though. Or maybe part of, you know, him throwing up was part of that. I don't know. Also didn't think that the sudden and occasional brutality... Not sure that was really necessary, you know. The finger getting cut off, and Pamela, I think was her name, getting executed. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I didn't really think the movie needed that. I think if it really had to go somewhere else than what it had been doing up to, until that point, I don't know. I, th I think it should have gone, you know in another direction with that. And then, you know, the whole thing with apparently he's, a, you know, just a peasant, the Iraqi, but then, you know, he has these, you know, the address of... Oh wait, yeah, that was the driver's license, sorry. So yeah, I guess that's how he had that and how he threaten that. But again, you know, it's that kind of thing. It's it's a little too vague, I think. You know, either either he is, you know, just a peasant and doesn't have the power to threaten, you know, Paul's family, or he is actually, you know, a terrorist. And it should have, I don't know, it just seems like they were they didn't have that many reveals, so they, you know, kept making it seem like this guy wasn't that big of a deal, and then you know, the end. And then again, you know, also with the the guy he keeps calling, the 
British sounding dude who is apparently supposed to rescue him but then he says oh you're just babysitting and then at the end he does actually sort of get it just yeah I, I think a lot of recent filmed fiction has this habit of going back and forth between you know what is supposedly the case just because, or at least in some cases, just because that's an easy way to keep the drama going. You know, then you don't have to just be building towards one thing, you can be suggesting something else, and then suddenly say, oh wait, no, it's this, you know. I suppose him recording the will was a reasonable enough, you know, could be seen as touching. And I thought the call to the wife worked better, had more of an impact. And I suppose that is all. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.